Um, it's our privilege today to welcome Hong Long Bai, CEO of Face Hall, uh, representing the uh, uh, tech scene in AI in China. You're based in Beijing. Yes, yes. Uh, so maybe to, to start with, could you well introduce yourself, your background, and uh, tell us about Face Hall, how it started, why, work, why starting Face Hall, and what are the challenges? Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is uh, Hong Liang Bai. Uh, Kaiser means uh, uh, Chinese Academy of Science. Uh, it's a very famous uh, institute in, in the China. And uh, they focus on the uh, intelligent vision, artificial intelligence. Fujitsu, Fujitsu is a French, uh, is a uh, Japanese, uh, Japan company. And uh, then I work in the French telecom, that is Orange. Uh, my uh, research area is in the deep learning, computer vision, and uh, uh, others such as uh, uh, video uh, processing. Uh, um, uh, after, uh, in the uh, 2015, uh, uh, my, my partner, uh, Dong Yuan, Professor Dong, and I uh, found the facial uh, because uh, we are the expert in the uh, in this area that is the facial recognition. We ha we found that in China there have a very big demand in the facial recognition. So uh, we uh, found this uh, uh, company. And so f could you tell us a little bit what facial? So you're using face recognition. Yes. What are the use cases? How do you use it? What are the problems? The problem you address? Uh, facial means uh, face all things. So. Uh, you can, from this world, you can have a face. So uh, we do the face recognition. And uh, our company, uh, not only in the face recognition, but also in the control vision. Uh, for uh, face recognition, uh, we uh, do some uh, uh, application uh, in the uh, surveillance, video surveillance. And uh, in the computer vision, uh, we do the, uh, some project in the uh, industry. For example, now we do the uh, project with uh, uh, Liaoning Xinyang province. Uh, Liaoning Xinyang is a BMW, the product. And also we also uh, do uh, the product uh, with Xiaomi, uh, the, the watch. And uh, uh, that's the project, project. And now, Fisho have uh, get a uh, two round uh, investment from the VC. Uh, the first round is uh, Xiaomi, uh, 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 Xiaomi uh, company. Today, how is your solution used in Beijing? Can you explain us how it works, how it is used by the authorities on how in Beijing? Actually, uh, we not use in uh, Beijing, mm -hmm. and we also uh, use uh, uh, the technology in the other uh, province in China. Uh, we also uh, uh, do the uh, 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 do the project in uh, uh, all the world. And we partner is uh, include the uh, Huawei uh, mobile uh, pr producer and uh, others uh, such as the uh, others such as Fujitsu and Orange and other city uh, other the, uh, uh, partner in Turkey uh, last year uh, the Turkey the partner of Turkey uh, come to uh, Beijing and we uh, for for us uh, we signed the first. Uh, uh, contract with uh, for, uh, with a foreign uh, country. The Turkey uh, partner use our uh, technology in different uh, area, such as in the airport, such as in the uh, government. He, uh, the the the, sit, the the partner also build their cloud service in the world. So so uh, it's very important. Not only in Turkey, we also uh, sell our product in. Uh, in the crowd, so our customer is from the from the different country. And how much? So, could you tell us about this sector of AI and face recognition specifically in China? Are there many companies? And I suppose there are different applications. You're using it for security surveillance. Maybe I suppose there are other company trying to address uh, other challenges. So, can you describe a little bit the sector in China in terms of companies, startups emerging? For the uh, face recognition or other intelligent uh, company, uh, uh, I, I, I feel in China the the, the up company is very 
uh, the number is very large. I, I feel at least uh, uh, one, <laughs> maybe 200 uh, uh, company, uh, very large, uh, such as Face Plus Plus, Time, and uh, E2, and, uh, and other big city, a uh, big, uh, big company, such as Baidu, B, Baidu Alibaba, uh, they also have their AI group to, to, uh, to do the uh, research. Mm -hmm. So every yeah every kind of, uh, from small startups to big companies are using uh, startups. And so you mentioned one point. So you do you think that the, the you, your use case in China, the way you use your technology, is it different in uh, other countries, for example, or with other customers, and you can adapt the technologies to various use cases? Our, our customer is uh, the the biggest uh, customer is uh, in Turkey. Uh, is very close with uh, France. Uh, they they build their cloud uh, service uh, in the world, and uh, they sell their product uh, to the to the uh, maybe France. And uh, uh, for for us, we also uh, build our cloud service in the uh, Ali Ali Cloud or Amazon, and we sell our service in the world. More generally, could, could you describe the so th the value? that your company is bringing, of course, to your customers, and more broadly to society. Your company, and more generally, face recognition, how such technology uh, uh, can bring yeah, value, and how much is it valuable to, to society. Uh, you're right. Mm -hmm. so, and how you, your company is working for surveillance and, and security. Okay. And can you give us concrete examples of what has been possible using your technology in, in China? In terms of criminality, for example, how, how, how has it been used? Do you have any figures or ex concrete examples? As you know, in China, there are many, many uh, cameras. Uh, for example, in Beijing, uh, there are at least uh, uh, 300,000 uh, uh, cameras. The number is very, very large. Uh, so uh, uh, in some important uh, area, uh, maybe the cross of street, and also maybe the government, uh, they will use the face recognition. And, uh, and uh, we, we provide our uh, face recognition uh, algorithm or our framework uh, to the, uh, our user. Uh, last uh, two years, we just uh, provide the, the algorithm, but now we, we provide the framework. Our framework is a uh, very, uh, very big uh, lo local network. Uh, the network can include uh, the HPC, nearly uh, 200 uh, compute, uh, servers, and uh, we provide the, the service uh, to, the, to our uh, customers. And do you have, I don't know, any figures or how much it could, uh, for example, prevent crime, or would you have any, can you, uh, any, or maybe it's too early, so uh, do you have any yeah, well, proof or, or figures about how, how it helps for the, for example, criminality rate okay. or whatever. Okay. Yeah, do you have no no examples or figures? No. In China, uh, for face recognition, uh, criminal is a very important uh, application, uh, and in other areas such as in the bank, uh, and uh, you uh, you can uh, register you uh, your face with a remote uh, motion. Uh, that means you can uh, register the the bank card at home, and uh, do you do not need to the uh, bank. Uh, that case is I feel uh, is very very uh, convenient for the for the user, mm -hmm. uh, and in other other cases such as in the uh, in the uh, uh, in the uh, school. And he also do some uh, many things uh, to help them uh, to, for, for them to uh, dinner and, uh, as, as well. Of course, the, the, the question of, of technology and AI in general, and the subject of, of the topic this afternoon is, uh, is includes the topic of, of privacy. So you describe the kind of problems you can address and how you must you, you, you're building value. The question also is of the acceptation of the technology. So how do you deal with the question of privacy, for example, uh, in, in your solution? Uh, you are right. Uh, one, we discuss with uh, face recognition, and uh, we, can, uh, we can see their uh, convenience and uh, safety. 
uh, that's very important. But everything have their uh, problem and cause. And for the disadvantage is uh, privacy. Uh, for facial, uh, we uh, solve this uh, uh, privacy problem we in two ways. Uh, one is uh, the first one is uh, uh, we uh, just uh, do the surveillance uh, to the criminal, not everyone. Uh, for example, for, for us, we just uh, focus on criminal. In China, uh, uh, for our application, uh, we have uh, uh, 500,000 uh, uh, criminal in China. Uh, that's a very big uh, uh, data site. So we just uh, do the fake recognition in this data site. If you are not a criminal, <laughs> you, do, you may, may not uh, be recognized. That's the first case. The second case is uh, when we install our soft software in the, our uh, client, and uh, we uh, do not, when we install the software, we, we do not uh, get the data, and uh, uh, the user will uh, uh, themselves use this uh, system. We do not care, or we do not care. So uh, we cannot uh, get the data outside the, uh, the, the, the privacy uh, for them from government. So after this, the government will protect the data, uh, their data by, by themselves. So uh, the first is for, for us, we, are, we, have, we pr protect the privacy and, uh, and uh, the government also protect the privacy. So the, 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 uh, the government or other, other office uh, have the responsibility to do that. Mm. Okay, and I think yeah, the responsibility is shared between, well, of course, the technology provider, but also the, the customers, in, in, in your case, the authorities that use the, the technology, obviously. Yes. Maybe, maybe one last word uh, about the, the future for you. How do you see the future of FaceAll? What are your plans? And uh, if you come in one year, you come again for the next uh, France AI conference, uh, how do you see FaceAll and how do you see the future? What are your plans? Okay, uh, FaceAll's uh, logo is uh, make cities smarter. So uh, that's the last uh, sentence in the uh, in the in this uh, case. Okay, uh, make cities matter. Okay, thank you, thank you, and uh, see you next year. Thank you. Thank you.